Hey everyone, welcome back to Self to Self. My name is Eam, that's Nick. And today we're going to do two quizzes that Nick found. One is about biology and one is about blood. But Nick, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you, Heem? Doing fine. So Good, I'm glad to hear that. Absolutely. Yeah, we're recording on a Monday. I'm going on a trip this week, so getting an early recording in. We're, today's just going to be light. These are two easy quizzes. Heem and I should do well, but we'll talk through some of the answers and, you know, have a good time. Um, we're doing this. I thought about this just because we had such an intense episode last week um, with Dr. Grover. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. It's a really great episode. We go through a lot of things. It's kind of lengthy, but trust me, it's worth the full watch. Um, so yeah, if you're new here, like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate you coming and checking on our channel. And yeah, Heem, let's just let's just get into it. Let's have fun today. Nice and light. So it's a Monday. We have to, you know, slow it down, get back to our basics. So I picked two today. Um, we can start with the biology quiz. We've got 20 questions for five minutes. Um, so he you ready? I'm ready, dude. Perfect. All right, let's start the quiz. So he what does DNA stand for? Deoxyribonucleic. Yeah, these are all really close, but it's nucleic acid. Nuclear acid, close, but nucleic acid. Boom. All right, next question. All right, the base pair Ooh. adenine always pairs with what? When I think of these, I think of A to T and C to G. Yeah, That's what I think of. So I believe that it's thymine. Adenine, th yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice, nice. Two for two. And it's for crazy two. why they would make it C and G together because C looks so much like G. Right. Like the letter. Yeah. So like, I wish it wasn't like this, but yeah. C and G. Yeah. Science okay, doesn't so make the, sense. No, science doesn't make sense. It's like, well, because science is universal and there's so many people studying it that like languages get like mixed up. So like there's a lot of like Latin and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. Okay, the runs of the DNA ladder are made of what? The Base runs? pairs. Glucose. I'm assuming that it's saying like what like of the DNA he like double helix right like what makes up like the middle because like the runs would be like the middle of a ladder or like you like climb. Oh, so, I would say phosphates and hydrogen then. Well, I think phosphates right? and hydrogen those build up the outside like because sugar phosphate the sugar. DNA is built up by the sugar phosphate backbone. Why didn't our timer stop? It's okay. We're being educational. Um, so like the outside of the double helix is sugar phosphate backbone. But I, I want to say base pairs. Yeah, but what's like, uh, but by what you described the rungs, like the stuff that's in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, base pairs, but they, they have hydrogen bonding between them. Yeah, but I don't but think yeah, that's uh, I don't think yeah, that's phosphates. what it's asking. You want, do you want to get phosphates and hydrogen? No, I'll, I'll go I'll go base pairs because phosphate okay, you're I, right it's on the it's on the outside. So like the sugar phosphate backbone is what I see. Okay, okay, it is base pairs. So it's, yeah, it's like the middle things, like the middle things connecting, like mm -hmm. because those that connection makes like the wrong. Okay. Here's here you are. The DNA strands are held to held to each other by what? We just said it. Hydrogen bonds. Yes. Boom. That was an, that's a that's a good one. All right. The twisted ladder shape of the DNA is called. I was just saying this. It's a double helix. Double. <laughs> it's a helical shape. Yeah. Okay. All or okay. Here we go. All okay. organisms in the kingdom Animalia are uh, multi for sure. Yeah. Not autotrophic. So, Animalia? Yeah, yeah, it's heterotrophic. Because this autotrophic is... would be like plants. Yeah. This would be like uh, cellular algae. Yeah. And the unicellular heterotrophic would be like, um, I don't know. Bacteria or whatever. Yeah, like a bacteria that eats other bacteria. Okay, that's what we're going with. Nice. 
Which of the following groups would contain the largest number of organisms? So order, class, family, phylum. Man, this is taking me back to when I was like 19 and sitting in class. And, okay. Um, it's not order. It's not, it's not family. It's not order. I think it's phylum. It's like phylum animalia. And then it's like family. Because like if you think of like humans... I could be down with phylum. I don't remember any of this. I think it's I think it's phylum. Bang. All right, good. Nice. Good. We're really reaching nice. into our bag for this one. Okay, a scientific name contains information about its wow. family and species, genus and species, class and family, phylum and order. I believe that it's genus and species. Okay, Homo sapien. Because like gorilla, gorilla. It's like that's the speed. It's a species that's gorilla and its genus is gorilla. Yeah. Okay. What do plants and animals have in common? I'm going to leave this one to you, Heem. Well, they're not prokaryotes, they're not both autotrophic. They've got to be both heterotrophic. Or, or no, no, you, you carry it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah good okay the current taxonomic classification system was devised by oh this is a trick question it's not aristotle or plato yeah it's not aristotle or plato it's... darwin i don't think so i hope i, I don't hope... it's is not it... darwin it's not it's darwin. one that is yeah, it's got to be Linnaeus. Think, isn't it Carl Linnaeus? He's Swedish, I think. But that's the answer. Man, my computer's right. struggling right now. Let's nice. go. Okay, the number of chromosomes found in an unfertilized human egg cell. Oh, no. No, it's... No, 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 no. I know it. I know it. 23. Yeah. 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 23. Yeah. 23 and me. 23 and me. I'm I went back to like genetics and was thinking about meiosis and mitosis, and it can get up to 96 or 92. Yeah. Good. 23. Okay. And eukaryotes. The cell cycle is monitored by. Ooh. Gotta be proteins, right? Well, fats and lipids are kind of the same. They are so the same. So it must be a trick. And carbs. Yeah, it's got to be proteins. It has to be proteins. Yeah. Okay. Normal human males have which of the following sex chromosome combinations? XX, XO, OO, XY, XY. XY. Yeah. Fun it's fact, the Y baby. chromosome. And then, fun fact, the Y chromosome is substantially smaller than the X chromosome because it only, we, every person needs the X chromosome to live. The Y chromosome is just what makes males different from females. Okay. Which of the following groups contains mammals that lay eggs? Oh, no. This is a platypus. It's okay. not a marsupial. It's not a marsupial, it's not rodentia, because marsupials have the pouch, like a possum. Pyroptera? What is that? And what is a monotreme? No. It's not this. This is two, a guess. Though. This is I don't I don't know what these animals are. I wanna go with Chiroptera, but man, that's a good question. Chiroptera right. sounds like a bird. No. no. It might have been really a monotreme. That's crazy. God. All right. Which order of mammals has the largest number of species? Insectivora. It's, it's got to be. It's got to be insectivora. Is it, but is that even... God. What? <laughs> I didn't click that. That's okay. We'll take it. All right. Apparently, it's well, we would have been wrong. Wars. All right. Hey, well, we were wrong. Okay. Which of the following animals have incisors that continue to grow their entire life? Walrus. 
It's a walrus. Yeah, they get long. They have those. No. He, Don't tell me we are elephant. choking. Don't tell me it's elephant. What? Wait, what? I'm so confused. Did we get Apologize. it right? Maybe we did. Okay. No, it's, it's keratin. No, it's keratin. keratin heme. Collagen I, is where? No, no I listen to is... you. It's no, elastin. Yes. My computer's wait, being so wait, slow. Wait, wait, wait. I thought, I thought keratin was right. I thought keratin was also right. Okay, which is Wait, where's bind? collagen? Collagen? Collagen's your skin, is it? Yeah. Where you going? Heme, that was a that was bad. Okay, which two bums are the most similar in regard to rainfall? I guess I'm taking too long. Or like my clicks are being um like delayed Andrew? because of like all the ads. Okay, layer of permafrost. It's either tiger or tundra. I guess it's taiga. I don't understand this. This is, it's behind, it's behind. Okay, biodiversity is greatest in which biome? It's um the rainforest. I know that yeah. one for a fact. Even if it pops up because of a, like a bad click, it's the rainforest. Okay. 14, I don't think we really got 14 to 20. I think we got more like 16, 17 out of 20. What the heck is going what on? What is going on? Okay. I'm going to delete, I'm going to get out of this. That was a good first quiz. We, we really worked on ourselves and we got to learn to read the questions um i'm just going to close out of all of this and i'm going to reload this sparkle game so in the meantime so much open on your computer well i have a bunch i have stuff i'm looking at okay this one should be much easier two minutes 30 seconds this is your thing this is this is our thing this is blood so let's 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 do it all right, so what's the primary, which one has the primary function of blood clotting? Platelets. Okay, this is unresponsive. Well, technical difficulties, we're reloading. What, what, secondary name, thrombocytes. Thrombocytes, is it platelets? Uh, I thought, it was red, I thought it was red blood cells. Why Why would it be red blood cells? Because if you have like thrombosis, it's because your red blood cells are messed up, not because your platelets or, or am I just stupid? No, you could be right. If you have a... Oh my God, it is platelets. It's, it's platelets, oh right? I think so. Yep. Yeah. Combat okay. infection, white blood cells. White blood cells. Next. Biconcave disc is red blood cells. Leukocytes is white blood cells. Yep. Leuco literally means white. Shape variable. variable and amoeboid. Amoeboid. I think it's white blood cells because like they'll like, you know what like an amoeba is? How like it moves like shoots out a piece of like cytoplasm and then like it falls and that's how it moves i don't think platelets okay, do. I, I think i can i can maybe i can but maybe it is platelets but maybe it is platelets well no, variable platelets. because white blood cells can be your t cells b cells it can be your nk yeah. cells it can be they can be huge different shapes i'm going yeah okay good good yeah the shape the shape was helpful you yeah you read their sites red blood cells Man, I feel stupid for that thrombosis. Tiny, Tiny cell fragments, cell fragments. platelets. Origin. We throw glass. And red bone marrow. Well, if <laughs> is this like a obviously dude pro I mean, we just throw we just bone said that marrow? What did we just say erythrocytes were? Red blood cells. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. Function. Transport oxygen, gas, and carbon dioxide. Red blood cells. <laughs> it's crazy what the dude, it's crazy what blood does. Okay, blood clotting. What we you know, start with platelets. Platelets. 
Mega Mega carrier sites in the room. I think that that's white blood cells, right? Um, Come on, immunology man. Mega karyocytes. I mean, I. Why does that make me think platelets? Like I don't know. Karyocytes in the say. bone. Okay, I can go with the white blood cells because mega. No, it is platelets. Oh, That's crazy, it is, dude. It is platelets, isn't it? I gotta give. Okay. I gotta re up on my platelet knowledge. Bone marrow and lymphoid tissues. White blood cells. All right, ten for twelve. I'll take the blame for those two. Dang. Um, nah, dude. It was a team effort. We both did okay. Yes. We weren't like super confident. Yeah. Like, like I've always said when we take these quizzes, it's always important to go back and relearn the basics because you can easily forget them when you get bogged down in all these like little things. But hey, just a fun quick episode, right? Yeah, and I'm glad we take these quizzes. Like it humbles us all the time. <laughs> No, for These real. Simple it really quizzes does. literally like remind us that, dude, we still gotta like be on top of our game. Yeah, gotta oh, we gotta keep reading and learning and asking questions. So, all right, he Well, got anything else? That's all for me, man. Perfect. All right. Well, we just want to say thank you guys for watching this episode. Um, remember, hit subscribe, like button, comment down, ask ask us questions, and uh, yeah, this has been another episode of Sells to Sell. I'm Nick, that's Hema, and we'll see you next time. See yeah. ya.